So we're taking this nice pit stop here on the way up to some hot springs. Might be able to hear the van, it needs a second to <laughs> regroup. <laughs> Opportunity for us to stop and enjoy this view up here. It's really beautiful. This is definitely like the heart of the coffee zone. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Looks oh, sounds like we're ready to go. Sounds like the engine fan's good. <laughs> Wow, you guys, I'm so excited to check out this hot spring. But this area, the lowdown is there's tons of different roads with hot springs. The most popular ones is called Santa Rosa. We came to San Vicente, which they say is more natural, the most natural one. We are sort of at the area which is more fancy pools. And then down the hill near where we'll park tonight, that's where they have a hot spring river and like a big pool I already saw. What's great about these hot springs compared to like Costa Rica is in Costa Rica, you might pay $85 for a day at the best hot spring near Arenal. Here, the hot spring is $15. So, I mean, it's a lot for Colombia, but hey, sign me up. Come check out these hot springs with us. Oh. I better leave this outside. So we pretty much got this area to ourselves. Down by the river there was really nice. There's one couple there chill. It's beautiful. And that's cold water up there, huh? Yeah, and that pipe is cold water. I guess it's like way too hot. And not only do we have this one to ourselves, but check this out in here. The sauna. Hey! Hey! <laughs> this one is good. Close that door. Well, little post hot spring. <laughs> Let the animals roam, stretch out. Sombrita! Oh, como estas? Oh, she's always happy. Over here, even this little cat's getting some time. He runs back to the van. <laughs> Sombrita. Buena chica. Oh, me. So basically, we can just spend the night here for free. Are you done, buddy? Oh, pulling the entree. <laughs> Good morning. We had such an awesome time last night wandering around these hot springs. There were semi natural pools with rock bottoms, which I honestly really enjoyed. And then there was also the river that we got to hang out in, and the bubbly pool, which was also super natural. And the two saunas, oh my gosh, I loved those. It is actually super cold here. This morning it was only. 58 degrees so last night it must have been it must have been really cold like 40 something i guess yeah. so it was really really nice to go in the hot springs this is super high altitude too so we're feeling really good this morning yeah nice and cold last night sleeping in the comforter again it's uh really amazing here to be at the hot springs because this is like the first sign of all the volcanic activity in the area the tectonic plates grind together here uprise the mountains and uh there's volcanoes as well. So a little bit later, we'll see Nevado de Ruiz, a volcano so active, you're not allowed to go up to the base right now. You're allowed to drive a certain distance and check it out. Yeah, we're already seeing the volcanic activity with these hot springs. Yeah. 
and it'll be cool to follow that along. There's tons of hot springs in this area, but I think we picked like a super nice one. There's also accommodations at this hot spring, so you can stay overnight. But of course we have our beautiful hot spring home here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we kind of got the drying rack set up in the Eje Cafetero, the coffee belt of Colombia up here. Well, here's the first waterfall on the way back down, so let's check it out. Man, that mirror door was nice up there and continuing yeah. down into the valley we got another hike here for another waterfall you think we could drive down this <laughs> No. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't even want to think of whether or not we can because I don't want to. And what about those tracks right there? Somebody drives here. Yeah, someone does drive here, but like, I thought this was just a footpath. They must have taken that way. Or do you think they take that way and where we came from? That'd be crazy. Check out these abandoned things here. I think that's the bridge. So on this hike we're finding a lot of leave no trace signs, which is really nice.
Oh wow, I can just start to see the waterfall here. We actually ended up hiking up pretty far. Oh, this is the payoff moment. Whoa. Such an awesome little waterfall hike. It's not as steep as I thought it would be, but the waterfall was so incredible. It was such a good spot stop we made. Definitely worth it. Danny's gonna send up the drone. Day. <laughs> All right, back to the van. Let's see where Graham is, right? Yeah. Grammy. Hi, Hanson. What were you up to? Hanging out. So while we were heading over to the skate park, we got into a huge traffic jam. Sombrita and I are just gonna go for a nice little walk here while Danny is stuck in the traffic jam. It's a nice park though. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna make our way over to a campsite above Manizales. Hoping for some nature and Wi-Fi over there. This spot is nice, but we're basically trying to introduce the pets because we got these doggos over here. This one's a little concerned, but apparently they're nice dogs, but they need some time to get used to the visitors. And now we got Sombrita with no leash, Graham with no leash. Well, Graham's just gonna try all the grass into the van for a while, I guess, but in the other pet news, this one's doing pretty well, huh? Yeah, she, she did her little round, she was around. Sombrita buena chica. So yeah, it's just great to have the pets outside and have Wi-Fi here, water. Just uh, take a day off, you know? Sometimes traveling's a bit intense, a bit, a lot of work figuring out where you're gonna be the next night and everything. Find a chill spot like this for about 10 bucks a night. Spend a couple nights, have a good shower and relax a bit. Oh, looks like we're convincing Graham to join us. Come here, buddy. Graham! Oh, Remy. He's my good boy. <laughs> well, this ain't bad at all. Got the Wi-Fi. My table has a bunch of plants in it. Yeah, lucky. We got Graham over there sniffing the dartboard. Some Brita over there being a good girl. Time to get some work in, huh? Yeah, let's do it. I might have to switch tables with you though. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
the pets are doing pretty well. These ones are still a little suspicious. Good boy, Grimmy. Oh, who's my good boy? <laughs> You're a little horse. Are you a little horsey? So here she also gave us some oranges or limes, uh, in addition to the bananas and the pineapple. Wow. <laughs> yeah, she's... See how much you want. Okay, thanks. Let's see how many she. Wow. I think they are oranges. We really love the way Patricia runs her homestead. She rents a couple of cabins on Airbnb and also allows Overlander to show up as they please. With fruit trees all over, she keeps them healthy with her compost heap and is doing so well living a zero waste lifestyle without barely any garbage leaving her home. But of course, we are moving on to more beautiful places in this volcanic coffee zone. We'll see you soon.